Hey, this is King Cool. If I just have a few minutes of your time. Hello from the land of TV. This is King Cool, and I believe that movie reviews go on for too long, which is why I developed minute reviews. You get to review in three minutes or less, or your pizza is free, or something. Um, and if I uh, go on too long, I get a strike. And right now I'm on a second strike this time, so uh, we'll see if I end up getting the third. But today on the show, we're going to be reviewing Red Eye, with starring Rachel McAdams and Killian Murphy. I believe it's Killian. Not positive how to pronounce it. But how long I get to go on for is determined by my customized little die right here. How long do I get to go on for? Let's find out. Three minutes. I doubt I'm going to need three minutes. Here we go. One, two, three. And here we go. Alrighty. Uh, Red Eye is about a woman who meets this stranger on a plane, and um, uh, it, it, they start off, it just seems very nice. In fact, the trailer, I remember for this, is great because it starts off like it's a romantic comedy trailer, but then it immediately takes a, a, a right turn into, uh, into um, you know, suspense thriller sort of thing, which I think is, is hilarious. I think it's one of my favorite trailers ever. Um, I wouldn't recommend necessarily checking out the trailer before checking out the movie, because it might give you a pretty good impression of some of what happens. Um, like, after it gets into it, like, what happens is, um, uh, while on the plane, Killian Murphy basically blackmails, uh, Rich McAdams by, with, with threats of her, uh, or, uh, with threats, uh, to her father, because she, he has his, uh, father's wallet. Like, hey, look, uh, I got, um, if you don't do what I say, uh, your father will die. And I won't say exactly what they're planning to do, because it sort of, is like, well, why on earth does she need Rich McAdams? But, uh... The first, uh, you know, that goes up until about the middle of the first act, up until about the second act. There's the intrigue of them on the plane. But then, it, 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 once they land, it starts to sort of get into regular action movie territory. It's not as, it's not as, as interesting, it's not, a, it's not as cat and mouse. It's still effective, and it reminds me a lot of the Take of Pelham 1, 2, 3, where um, it's not... This is better than that, than the remake of Pet, Take of Pelham 1, 2, 3. I haven't seen the original. But um, it reminds me of that, and... Uh, uh, both, you know, when they, when they land and just the things that they have to do to keep the action going, it's sort of like, wow, like, I don't think most is, most random people wouldn't be able to do any of this. But the thing is, also at the beginning, uh, is, you know, she works in a, in, a, in, a, in a customer service capacity. I won't say exactly how, but in the beginning it has, like, people given, given a character grief. And it's like, I watch movies to avoid seeing uh, fucking stupid customers complaining about shit. The people who play them are excellent because... They made me, just inf it infuriated me with what they did. Can I recommend uh, Red Eye? If you like Rachel McAdams, you've probably already seen this. And she's, she, you know, she's as lovely as ever, and she's nice um, and effective. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily, I don't see any real reason. Unless you're also a fan of Killing Murphy, in which case, you've already seen this. Um, do I have anything else to talk about? How much time do I have? I have got... You know, it's, it's somewhat insubstantial. It's a fun little movie. You eat it, and it's like, hmm, that was fun while I watched it, but, you know, nothing, nothing. No, it's not going to be a classic. I'm going to stop it. Time. Plenty of time left on that one. I think this is the first one I've ended with plenty of time, but I think I did have three minutes. One of the things I thought about doing at the beginning of this uh, show was taking time that I uh, had uh, and being able to add it to the clock if I thought I'd need more. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Um, but on the other hand, uh, I think that's it for me. Uh, I will try to do Jackie Brown next week. Uh, I just had this in my queue, and I watched this first, and I'm, I'm busy Thursday and Friday, so I'm recording this on Wednesday. Uh, I will still post this on Wednesday. I'm going to try to watch Jackie Brown next week. We will see. But anyway, this is King Cool, and please drive home safe.